Well, happy 2017. This is a great year, and it's going to be fabulous <laughs> for Jesus. You watch. And uh, I feel like, you know, there was a story in the New Testament of Jesus healing 10 lepers, and nine of them went away, and one of them came back, though, and said, Jesus, thank you for what you did for me. Well, right here in front of man, heaven, and earth, I want to say, Jesus, thank you for what you've done for me and for my family. He asked the Samaritan leper that came back, where are the other nine? I don't know. I don't know. All I know is I'm not one of them. I'm going to be thankful for what God has done. I want to uh, just speak briefly to let you know that our plans for this year are extremely aggressive because God has made me very aggressive at this time of my life. I'd like to be able to say we're going to do more this year, uh, Marie and I, than we've done in all of our lives and years put together. Of course, that's just wish, that's hope, that's heart, that's desire. It's not by power, it's not by might, but by my spirit, saith the Lord. But I have a concern for people who are defenseless now. And uh, now I say, not that I didn't before, but I have an emphasis, a spiritual emphasis, okay? Um, there are, I'm dealing as... Those of you who support us know, and those of you who support us just in prayer know, uh, that we're dealing a lot with unreached people groups now that don't have any scripture at all. The gospel is new to them. And, uh, you know, sometimes when you're in trouble, you hope you don't know how much trouble you're in, depending upon what kind of enemy you're facing. But we are, we are in a spiritual warfare, okay? The enemy that we are facing, and for me, okay, I'm, I'm not you know, Superman, but I can read and I have read my Bible, so I don't have the excuses uh, to fall back on that I didn't know any better. But the enemy that we face is not playing games. He's not mild. He's not easy. His mission, his desire, his purpose is to kill, to steal, and to destroy. He is, he is for, he plans for your death he plans for your destruction. He wants to end your dreams. He will do it ambitiously and gleefully. He will put the sword to your throat and just smile all the time. Uh, you know, the people you love, you'll see no more. You'll just turn into a memory for them. He wants to get rid of you, okay? Uh, he wants to totally uh, just make you something that they have to dismiss out of their minds. He wants to get rid of you. He wants to kill you. And you can say, well, okay, uh, I guess I lose because I don't have anything to fight with. Your future disappears. All your could have beens and should have beens, they just never come about. There's no defense. If you can't protect yourself or your loved ones uh, when the enemy confronts you, let me just say, you can't outrun them, you can't outmaneuver them, you can't outsmart them, you can't outplan them, outbuy them, outthink them, outnegotiate them, outplead them, you can't blackmail them, you can't intimidate them, you can't outweigh them, you can't persuade them, you can't hide from them, ignore them, join them, overpower them, and you can't reason with them. He's going to pull uh, fiery darts out of his nasty little bag, you know? What are you going to do um, when he uses jealousy against you? What are you going to do when he uses lust or greed or loneliness or, or sadness or disappointment or uh, sickness or death in the family or, or persecution to destroy you? What about if he comes at you with hunger, if he destroys your pride, if, uh, if he uses poverty against you, hopelessness, all of these things are answered in Scripture. You can go back to any one of those things that I just listed, and you can open the Word of God, and you can find an answer for you. And this answer, which is the Word of God, it's the only thing that can defeat the enemy. For this purpose was the Son of God manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil. And the destruction that Jesus has done, the Word of God, which he left for us, the devil can't deny it, he can't defeat it, he can't hide from it, he can't ignore it, he can't mock it, he can't change it, he can't erase it, he can't outlast it, he can't do anything. He can dislike it, he can lie about it, he can disagree with it, he can reject it, but he can't change it. It's there, the word of God. Heaven and earth will pass away, but God's word will not. So we're asking uh, you to help us this year. We want to put this sword in the hand of so many of our new Christian 
brothers and sisters that don't have the word yet. We're working down on the Amazon. Uh, we're doing translations for them. They need the word of God, okay? So um, I just think that's an exciting purpose for the year 2017. So God bless you, and thanks for standing with us. Let's do this.